Hello traders and market enthusiasts, welcome to Strike. Today's video will be a comprehensive guide on what is ATR and how to use it. ATR as in average true range. So if you are just a beginner or even if you are an experienced guy, this video is for you. So stay tuned. So what is ATR? Developed by J. Wells Wilder, ATR is a technical analysis tool that helps you gauge the volatility of the stock or an index that you are tracking. Unlike other indicators, it does not predict price movement, but it tells you how volatile the current trend is. And by, uh, by the same logic, you can judge the strength of the particular price move. So in that way, it is a very important tool for all traders. So let's understand the formula of ATR as in how is it calculated? So the first step will be to calculate the true range. So true range is the maximum of these three figures first one is today's high minus today's low and then is the absolute value of high minus previous close and then there is absolute value of today's low minus previous close so the maximum of these three numbers will be your today's true range and then atr itself is a 14 day average of the true range that you just calculated adding atr on any platform is very simple simply go to the indicators tab on the platform that you are using in my case i am obviously using strike and you can simply as add atr so i have added twice by mistake and of course you can modify the period as well but the default period used for this indicator is 14. now as we discussed atr itself does not help you judge the price movement but it gives you a expected range or a volatility of the symbol which can help you set probable stop loss or target levels so for example if the atr is very low then your stop loss levels will be very tight and if the atr is high which means the expected movement in the price is higher so you'll have to keep larger stop losses so as you can see this was a regime of a low atr period around the june and july month of this year and as you can see the range was very tight so if one was trading here on the long side the stop losses were very small right so now similarly if the atr is very high then the stop losses are quite big so for example this is a regime of high atr and here you can see even if a person is trying to go long or short the swings are wild so one needs to have a larger stop loss for such kind of market. Now here I am showing you ATR in the within the Rohit setup screen. I have applied ATR from the indicator window. So I'm just showing the scenario wherein you can use ATR for your targets and stop losses. So for example, we got a bullish crossover back on 3rd November and the ATR value for that day was 175, which simply means Nifty is expected to move up or down by 175 points so you can keep your stop loss below 175 points of today's low or today's closing and then you can see <clears throat> the move has go, uh, gone on from there on without any hiccups and now similarly eventually the atr has picked up and the range has gotten wider so volatility is now increased so let's say you're looking for a short signal here and a bearish crossover we got right here on 20th December candle and the ATR was at 195 which means your stop loss is now wider earlier if you would have been uh, following it here the ATR was 175 so now approximately 200 point range is expected on both the sides so that is your minimum level for the stop loss so people also use 1.5 times ATR or 2 times ATR as their stop loss or target levels based on their strategy and risk reward ratio atr itself is not just a standalone tool it is also used as a base calculation in tools like super trend so as you can see i have applied atr length of 10 and the factor 3 so you can also use 14 also here so now this super trend is using 14 period atr and a factor of 3 to give me a dynamic uh, stop loss or a trailing level so as you can see this level is moving above along with the price action and uh, 
I have a dynamic trailing level on the chart itself. So ATR is used as a base in calculation of such indicators as well. Now coming to scanners with strike. So you'll notice in the technical scanners we have given ATR and there are two filters that you can use that is bullish ATR signal and bearish ATR signal. So what does this mean is when the stock on a given trading session, let it be daily time frame, hourly, weekly or monthly, if it is up more than uh, by the number of ATR. So for example, ATR of this stock Bajaj Auto today is 123 and today it is up by 196. So if it is up by more than the ATR value, it is considered as a bullish signal and you can see stocks like this will continuously keep appearing in this scan and so you'll know that the momentum is very strong and the opposite of this will be bearish signal let me select bearish yeah in bearish only one stock is there so atr value of this stock is 7.2 and it is down by 10 rupees so that's why it is a bearish signal so when you see the movement in the stock for the given day which is way higher than the ATR value itself that gives an idea whether the stock is coming out of a low volatility regime and going into a high volatility regime or not similarly if you would like to use super trend which is also based on ATR that also we have given uh, within the scans and you can note down the stocks that are giving bullish or a bearish cross in the super trend so remember to use uh, atr it is a versatile tool will mostly help you in setting your uh, correct stop loss and target levels but do note to use it in conjunction with other tools so if you like the video do like and subscribe our channel and let us know which topics you'd like to see in future videos thank you for watching